Alrighty, back to the calls. Uh, where were we? New seating configuration? Masks? 704, Hey, I have the new seating configuration. Does that mean that we're requiring masks today instead of Wednesday? Oh, wait a minute. Negative. Uh, maintenance has hundreds and hundreds of buses to uh, <laughs> transition over to that, but they're just getting an early start as well. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. They Negative. have 600 buses to be exact. All right, next up, here's the line 24 hey, again you every a day. Did you your pouch? There is no reroute <laughs> to uh, my suit. Can't understand a word you're okay, saying. I just sent you another, uh, well, I sent it out earlier, but it must not have gotten to you. Go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, you can just continue down on, to Kurt, uh, excuse me, Russell, and then make a right on Russell, and then follow the uh, reroute instruction. And more. 2468 on Fremont in 40 seconds. 2468, we're having a little trouble with our uh, messages going out to buses. Just want to make sure, did you get that reroute I sent out? Should be the 18th and Morrison. Uh, continue Russell left interstate, that reroute. Negative, I did not get that message. I'm going to try to resend it to your cat. Copy, you want to give me a call back when you do that, or you just might have waited on the phone for you? I just sent it to you. You didn't get it again? No, I did not. All right, bear with me a second here. You know what? It does say I have a new message. It just didn't prompt me to it. One second, please. Copy, stand by. It is there. Yeah, you dumbass. Jesus. Okay. Line 75, forgot rest from. Hello. Block 7510, heading southbound. Mm -hmm. yeah. 7510, go ahead. So this, so this morning I forgot my, um, my key for the bathroom, um, on the pallet since we're doing the folder, um, for the panel and all of that stuff. Is there a way to get that key, um, not for me, but for, like, my relief? Um, you know, I'm not aware how that works for the 75s and 44s. So you're not actually given a personal key to Pier Park. There's one that is supposed to kind of go with not the pouch, but whatever the paddles attached to and everything. Yes, that's correct. So we need a certain key to um, open up the bathroom down at the park. I copy. I will see if I can get... We'll check into it. 7510, no key. Is there another one? 7510, there was 469. Oh, that's a, they a forgot part of the pouch or something at the garage, and they don't have a key to the bathroom uh, for Pier Park. Those should be standardized, obviously, and, you know, one key for every bathroom or one pass, or whatever. They, the fact that you need different keys is just fucking ridiculous. Fairbox password? Hi, this is 406. Uh, um, first of all, I just want to let you know that um, I cannot turn up the firebox. Uh, for some reason, he, he won't take the number three for the pass, password, uh, the code for the, to turn the, the firebox on. He will type any number except the number three. So I cannot turn it on. I don't know what you suggest to me to do. Uh, no, no number threes, huh? Social distancing next. 7736, go ahead. I copy. Is it because you have fewer social distancing signs than we have in the past month or so? No, she was saying something about it in the uh, preferred priority seating area. It wasn't spaced out properly or something, but the signs look the same as they do whenever the bus might drive. Hi, Copy. Well, she's more than welcome to call customer service. And uh, if you need to refer to this call later, came in at 9.54. Kill them all in camping and shelter. Come on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 2.34, you have the hazard. You <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm here at 145th, and I got a gentleman camping out inside our bus shelter with a huge cart full of treasure, and he's blocking the whole fire. Yeah, imagine a fucking motherfucking guy with no home. Fucking fuck him, right? Fuck that guy. Okay. Fuck him. Yeah, I'm here at 145th, and I got a gentleman camping out inside our bus shelter with a huge cart full of treasure, and he's blocking the whole fire.
fuck both he's possessed. I copy we'll get it. Yep. Kick him out, so go out and come back later. Fifty seven verbal and coughing. Fifty seven seventy two T V highway at hundred seventy at eastbound. Hello, fifty seven seventy two, how can I help you? Hey, I just dropped off a loud verbal on uh, 178th TV Highway. Um, very loud, very verbal. Very loud, very loud. Constantly, I told him to cover his cough. What do you mean, ver- tell, give them exactly how he's being verbal and loud. You you, t- you quote him, you say, he's saying, motherfucker, you're fucking fucking with me. You have to be specific. Listen, listen, um, smoke like you're in. Do you want a description? He's dispossessed. Yes, please. It's a white male, uh, probably 5'10", medium build, got a red jacket, blue jeans, um, graying hair, unshaven, carrying a blue sleeping bag. Motherfucker! And what stop did he get off again? Sleeping bag, man. Get rid of him. He's coughing. Get him out of here. Line 8, off route. Hello, how can I help you? Oh, well, I just got a phenomenal, um, journey compliment from Mike Wise, Matt rattled me enough that I managed to get myself off route. What? What? So I'm going, um, underneath... Hello, what did she say? Oh, well, I just got a phenomenal, um, journey compliment from Mike Wise, Matt rattled me enough that My I what? managed to get myself off route. I didn't hear what she said. So I couldn't going, make that um, out. Underneath OHSU, and I'm going to hit it from the backside. Oh, but um, I don't have anybody on my bus, so nobody's going to be late to work, oh. and I'll still be able to get back on track shortly. Oh, it must have been a beep. <laughs> okay, Ben. All right. Line 63. What? Uh, here, they, here we go. The mask phenomenon. This is going to be good, man. We're going to have we're going to have weeks of great action on the scanner with this one. Good morning, 68. Uh, 67. Rose Garden Way, right? 68, not 63, rip. Morning, 63, 67. Oh, it is 63. <laughs> Question, dispatch, uh, read that, uh, uh, read that we're to, uh, writers are mandated on masks, uh, but what, I didn't see what action I should take as an operator if I have a writer. Does not write with a mask. You have no option. Why you? Why don't they understand how things work? Why don't you? Why don't they get it, man? Okay. I mean, it's just so simple. I mean, you just call. You send prior whatever. Uh, I don't know whatever about message they have. Oh you. Uh, excuse me. Here <laughs> the complaints that another writer does not have a mask. Two three eight right. Well. It's- Basically, the same policy as mm. like with fare. We can't force anyone to wear a mask. They don't know that. Huh? I mean, they have to we'll totally be told. Them, you know, for passengers. Is, you yeah, know. we already know the policy. Line for a medical emergency. Mm-hmm. Four oh seven, can I copy? You had a medical emergency? What's going on there? Yes, uh, I just picked up a young gentleman, a black guy in between the age of thirty five of age. He just fell down the arm with Caesar. Uh he looks like a Caesar is on my back right now at the back door. Alright, copy, he's at the back door. Is he breathing okay? Breathing, but uh, he's just down. I didn't go after him. I didn't, I didn't go near him. Yeah, I just see him back there. Alright, copy. My part is on with uh, 911 right now. Uh, did he fall at all? Or is he just by the back door and you came across him? He was sitting by the back door. He fell off. He fell off the front the seat. I copy. He fell off the seat. Alright, do you see any injuries from when he fell? I haven't been here, 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 I'm still in my seat here, I just see him at the back door there, I didn't go near him. Alright, copy. Can you secure the bus? Uh, get on your seat and see if you can <laughs> communicate with him, ask him if he had any injuries. We're sending medical to your location. Stop the bus, seizure. 
Okay. Here comes medical. Sending medical to 407, but 3509. They're southbound on... Okay, they'll send it to the uh, supervisor in part two. Sending medical oh, to 407 I'm not... I keep fucking it up, man. Next. 407, are you there? 407, please. 407, uh, four seven. Uh, were you able to make any contact with him? Is he conscious? Did he stop seizing? Go on and contact him. I can't go anywhere. I hear his speed breathing and I'm seeing a right next to the vehicle. That's close to me, poor thing. Okay, did the ambulance pass you or are they... Come on, man. I pull away. All right, well, whatever. Fifteen oh nine. Good morning. Is. We don't know what to do because we can't think. Hello, fifteen oh nine. Okay, so I didn't see anything written. I got on my bus and I see to every other. So, um, you know, as we were doing was ten to fifteen. Yeah, well, you so know. I need to know, so you know. All these drivers are not following social media, obviously. They probably don't even know it exists. I'm sending you messages or not. So, as far as we knew, it was um, going to be rolled out tomorrow, but, you know, we're handing out masks to people. We would like them to wear masks on the bus, and they're changing the distance to three feet based on basically people wearing masks. So I was, you know, I think they tried starting some of the buses. So do you have masks to give out on your bus? Yes, I do. So I'm just gonna let it roll, and I'm not gonna worry about there it. There you go. I'm very, I doubt if I'll get up over capacity now if they're gonna do it every three feet. So that'll be fine. I just want to right. double check. I'm like, Good for her. Okay. Yeah, you know, there's always... All right, there you go. Start, what they put out and All right, so she's going to handle it properly. So that's a that's a good bus driver, no problem. Line 4, Matt, that's line 4 still going on. Oh, All right, 4 seven. I see you rolling. Do you have any passengers on right now? No, I don't have passengers. I'm going to call that I just give me instructions to get... Uh, to hear a real school to fight and then take a little break and then turn around and go back to St. John's. Affirmative. So go ahead and yeah, take your break at Rose Corps there. Uh, you can either be in the motor center cutout and then turn around or you can be over at the old 85 stop on Wheeler facing northbound to be ready for that outbound trip. And you can should be able to park there behind the supervisor vehicle. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, no more six foot. Okay, so it's call after call now about this. 2043, Burnside 12, eastbound. Hey, 2043, got your request to talk. How can we help? I'm just curious, have we done away with the yeah. six foot rule? See, nobody I'm knows. How do you not know? How do you know? Do, more than three feet apart now. Don't you think TriMet needs to examine its communication protocols with its operators? Because everybody seems to be misinformed about everything, okay? We've been listening to these calls for years, and operators do not have any idea what the rules are. I think that the TriMet Communications Department needs to all be fired because they're not communicating with anybody. I don't know what they're doing. They're certainly not communicating with operators. Affirmative. Uh, there have been some changes to that. They're officially going into effect on Wednesday the 20th. Uh, we're going to require masks for everyone. And uh, there is going to be a change to the amount of people who are allowed on board from a six-foot rule down to a three-foot rule. Uh, they're having to, they can't change the buses all in one night, so they're kind of rolling it out. If your bus is configured that way, people are welcome. To they can't board. do it in one night because they have hundreds of useless technocrats sitting at home diddling their thumbs and limited amount of people actually in the field getting things done. That's We've got all these mid-level mid technocrats sitting at home getting paid their full salaries and doing nothing, basically. 
Yeah, you don't want your follower to do it. No, that's not how it worked. Okay, nurse appreciation parade blocking hospital. Twenty thirty six at Barnes and Monterey, uh, heading westbound. Passenger at the hospital. Yeah, go ahead and bypass the hospital. Oh, go, okay. Alrighty, I will bypass them. Great. Damn doors, here we go again. More doors, 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 doors. 24 confusion, but just goes on and on. You guys are trying to say something. <laughs> 2468, can you hear me now? Yes, much better. Um, I just had a quick question. So I'm at the end of my route. Am I supposed to lay over here at 18th and Morrison or drive the bus to 17th and Morrison? Because it says there's a temporary closure at this stop right now. Are you the relief driver? Uh, that just goes on and on. We don't need all right, here's a good one. 2035, someone stole operator purse off the seat. 2035. 2035, I got your police emergency. I just, I, I oh. totally took my wallet out of my purse. Oh, God, so, wow. Did you, were you, right? Did you leave your bag in there or they reached behind oh. your seat? I was I was just outside my bus and I I had my foot on the seat for a few seconds and then it was gone. My wallet was gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see who took your wallet? Oh, I did not. Okay. Well, the supervisor is there and I'm gonna try to help you no, try geez. to figure things out. Do you see her there? Yeah, I see her here. She's right next to us, and I know the driver saw, saw him, so. Okay, we'll talk to the supervisor, and she can kind of help you guys figure it out and get a description, possibly, of the person that stole it. Uh, the other driver's giving a description right now. I'm sorry, I know that. That's very bad. That's very discouraging, isn't it? 
<laughs> What's this? Line 67. She came up to the bus and she's a quarter short. Hey, this is 67. 67. 67, 67. You had a request to talk. How can we help? I had a customer on my last round um, that was came up to the bus and told me she was a quarter short. And I said, well, you know, okay. And then she started screaming at me about, well, you know, I mean, just verbally assaulting me about trying it and not letting her ride. And I told her, you know, you can ride. I don't know what you're talking about. So she storms off screaming and shouting. And now that I'm here again, she's here and just, you know, telling me that she's, I don't know, called me in and, and, and all of those are a bunch of crooks. So I just thought maybe I should inform dispatch. It sounds like this is not the driver's fault, but she's probably had another driver do something to her, and she's taken out on this driver, because that's generally what happens. Hi, Copy. Uh, is she trying to go on your bus? No, she just walked up the street screaming. I mean, she's definitely having a bad day. All right, Copy. Well, you offered to, that she could ride the bus, even though she didn't have her fare. I sounds like you did everything you could. Uh, it's all in a recorded line. Uh, I just... Uh, yeah, we can't board her today. That's, sounds like that's up to her choice. Yep. Yeah. Well, you told her she could ride, and she didn't ride. 924 relief. 2468. It's 2468. 2468. I don't know if you were spoken to earlier going through shift change at the moment, but um, your relief is under Collins Circle. Are you planning on heading over there? Yes, that's where I was heading towards, but I think I got lost. I took a left on Sam. I took a left on 6 off the of Sam and... Where am I supposed to go? Uh, I'm facing Taylor right now. Um, you're supposed to go up to 18. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Here's the police coming for the first. 2035. 2035, police are en route. Do you have a description of the person that you believe stole your wallet? No, I do not have a, a description, but I know the driver did and gave it to the supervisor. Oh. Route, Plus, you have the camera. You have the bus camera. The okay. You have the bus camera. Don't forget the bus camera. Can you give us a call? Let's see. So, two, three. And then one, two, three. When you're done with them, can you give us a call up here, please? Okay. Um, I copy. I have your bus camera. Um, I have an officer here, and they want to know is there any way they can get a hold of the video so yeah. they know who they're looking for? Right. There you go. Um. Yeah. Yes, we can get them the video. We would have to pull it. I mean, I can't get it, like, instantaneously. <laughs> but if you get their Why name, they, number, guest number. Why can't they get it instantaneously? Can't they uh, download that shit immediately? And phone number, we can have it pulled. That's too long. And they can get it from TPD. That seems like it could be a little bit more efficient. More mass confusion. I shouldn't be denying boarding and saying I can't Oh, board. Jesus, here we go. I'm telling them the rules. Here we their, go. Their the, responsibility to comply with the oh rules. Oh, my God, here We're we go. Inform them. So now, we'll now we have the operators telling them we can't drive ride. Right. Transit are required to have a mask. Uh, there are masks available. They are there for them to use. So we just want to make sure that we're phrasing that the right way. So we're not going to make more problems for... Just right, that's right, you got it. It's just like fair. That's right. Here's strollers, they don't know the policy. Eighty seven thirty seven. Catch it. Hundred and eighty second of division going northbound. Can I request help? How can we help? So am I uh uh the SOP for taking your children out of the door hasn't changed. Yes, it has uh, changed. Don't have to. Yes. See, communications failure again. I mean, really, the TriMet management methods of communicating to operators is like there is no method. You know, they're going to say, well, it's up to you to know the rules. You know, that's what they always they put it on you. Of course, it should be they, they should have the responsibility to make sure you know the rules. But they're such fucking, you know how they are, man. They, they just. Always put it on an operator because they can do that, you know. Uh, it's it's just complete bullshit. That's how it works there. Um, we can just have them aware that they have the assumption to have the child out of the stroller. If they don't want that to happen, just keep them 
out of the uh, aisle and encourage them to have any wheel locks on and keep all of this drawer. Okay. Now, I, I try to keep up on all of that. I, I read my emails every uh, Tuesday morning on my day off of coffee. I guess I missed that one. Thank you for the information. See, he even reads his emails. So there you go. He even tries to keep He's even trying to keep up with it. Line 24, it just keeps going on and on and on. 2468. How do they fucking Columbia. deal with this? Alright, 2468. Well, let's get you. Fuck. Well, I think you can head over just uh, to Fremont. Forget it. Okay, here's more doors. Alright, I copy. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, I uh, I'll call the shop. And we'll see what we're going to do. Is there any way we can do a battery reset just to try to get the doors closed? Lock the doors, man. Because then once they're closed, they can run, correct? Yeah. Oh, can we try another one? How can they have such crappy well, equipment? I'm happy to. Um, so why don't we uh, do a battery reset? And Christ then... almighty, you know. Nine seventy six. She's going to kill everybody. Here we go. 7668. 7668. Prior request to talk. Love, Ripple, and Priority. How can I help you? I have a lady literally going bonkers on the bus. <laughs> and now she's saying she's going to kill everybody. So I'm trying to make it to Washington Square so I can open the doors and get people off. There you go. That's what you do. That's the correct way to handle it. Okay. Does she Absolutely. have weapons, or is she just sitting there yelling? What is she doing inside the bus? Yeah, what, what exactly? She's yelling at people, trying to get into altercations. She has a bag of cans with her. I don't see any weapons, but I can't safely drive when she's being like this. Yeah, okay. Nobody's questioning you on the safety of the driver or not. I'm just trying to get info what's going on. Stand by for me one second. Okay. Okay, security's on the way. And 7668, I have uh, mall security headed your way at the transit center there. Do you want me to stay on the radio until she gets off? Yeah, let's see if she's going to uh, get off here. I'm pulling into um, Washington Square right now. It's just really unnerving when she's like pretending to shoot people. Uh, yeah, that's what does she look like? <laughs> she is a white female, maybe fifty-eight years old. Fifty-eight. That's uh, she has a fifty-eight, huh? Not like fifty to sixty. Fifty-eight. Green bag and a black sack of cans. She's wearing black Nike tennis shoes. A gray top. That's a very good description. Okay, the police are coming now. I do it with. Um, where is the new police to Washington Square for 7668, vehicle 3223? We have a female on board acting erratic, yelling and harassing at other passengers if they don't have a mask on. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's about a mask, I see. She got off. See, it's all... If you're safe, you can go and roll. It's all temporary. Copy that. Um, also, she does have a lime green uh, bag that she's carrying. She has silver earrings on and white socks. <laughs> what kind of pants is she wearing? Who cares about that? Okay, can you head to Washington Square and deal with a lot of her? Is this somebody else? 2112. Uh... You know, I wasn't thinking about Sunday schedule, and I gave that last call to 9108. Can you torch? Uh, All right, we don't care. The go ahead. She better say go ahead. Hey, 8867, heading back to the garage. Just wanted to report a um, a stalled car that just just happened. <laughs> um, it's going northbound on 185th at baseline. Oh, man. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Buy him with his... Okay, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Little Leon no longer excluded? What? 3301, we got your 
Yeah, hi, I got a uh, little Leon up here. Uh, I actually dropped him off up here, and the operator told me that he was uh, banned from the bus. Is that true? I'm looking at his uh, citations, and he's actually no longer excluded as of 12 a.m. today. Yay! So he is able to ride. He can ride. All the regular rules apply to him. He's got to be in good behavior. He's harassing anyone on the bus. We can get help to you guys. But if you're not having any problems, he can right now. Yep. Okay, very good. I'll come on to make sure he behaves himself. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you. Line nine priority. Uh oh, white screen. White screen, you know what that means? That means scanner down. Now these scan the scanner goes in and out randomly. But uh oh scanner down. Let's try it again. Scanner down. Yep. That's it for this episode. Scanner down. We have to tag the appropriate. Oh, let me see. Oh, see? It's gone. Scanner down, and that terminates my. That terminate. One more try. We'll try one more. Nope, we're done. That terminates this episode of TriMet Scanner. Wait! Nope, okay, we're done. I thought it, I thought it clicked.